Okay, here we want to use continuity to evaluate the limit. We have the limit as x approaches 1 of the function e to the x squared minus x. So the first thing we need to do is look at the exponent, which is x squared minus x. And this is continuous at all real numbers. And therefore, we can say that the composite function e to the x squared minus x is also continuous at all real numbers. So since we know that they're continuous, then we can evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of e to the x squared minus x. We're evaluating this limit at 1. We have e to the 1 squared minus 1, which is equal to e to the 0, which gives us 1.